Now, we'll be taking a look at integrating our application with Liferay DXP's search framework. Liferay DXP uses an external search engine. Uh, by default, that's Elasticsearch, but it is compatible with several other external search engines. Liferay DXP content items must be converted to search index documents before indexing. And since Liferay DXP 7.1, it's uh, had an API SBI design. Before version 7.1, there used to be a single indexer component for taking care of everything search indexer related for a model entity. In 7.1, however, the approach was modularized to provide different aspects of search framework integration. However, if you're using a legacy system or are just used to that approach, you can still use it in 7.3. The process by which we are going to integrate Search Framework with our gradebook application is as follows. We're going to start by adding the at indexable annotations to the local service methods as needed. We're going to implement a model register class to register with the Search Framework. We'll implement a model document contributor to control which fields are indexed. We'll implement a model indexer writer contributor to configure re-indexing. We'll implement a keyword query contributor to control which fields are being queried. And then we'll implement a model summary contributor to control the summaries returned. At this point, we can go ahead and integrate with the asset framework to make sure that our assets, in this case, our assignments, are viewable through the asset framework. And most importantly, the asset publisher portlet. The at indexable annotation is a liferay provided method level annotation to be used with Service Builder. It enables automatic index updates on entity modification events. There are two index action types, re-index and delete. Now it's important to note that the annotated methods have to return the target entity. And the at indexable annotation is implemented by default in the service base class methods.